Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, I say to you that listen, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also, and from anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you, and if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. If you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. If you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love your enemies, do good and lend, expecting nothing in return. Your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High, for he is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For the measure you, will gi you give will be the measure you get back. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Do not see too many people with their living with Christ. Uh, that is uh, usually what we follow the readings uh, uh, with. Uh, but today, as we celebrate Saint Rita of Cassia, uh, a saint who had a, a very difficult life, uh, we heard in this uh, gospel about some of the hardships as well. So it is uh, not always a, a piece of cake uh, to use that expression to follow the Lord. Uh, he is calling us to embrace our cross as we sang at the beginning, but it is from the cross that we receive the resurrection. And so we have a beautiful cross here on this side, close to the cornerstone. In the scriptures, the Bible tells us that the cornerstone was rejected by the builders, has become the cornerstone. And so uh, now in the building's mind, the person who designed our church, we have the beautiful statue of Jesus, and uh, from you who are far, uh, even when we're close, it's not that obvious, but Jesus is showing his wound, uh, but this is not a wound that is uh, painful anymore. And so just as Saint Rita of Cassia, she had many wounds in her life, many difficulties, uh, but she was focusing on the cross, and this was bringing her to the glory of the resurrection. She was receiving a peace that only the Lord can give. And in this time of uh, wars, uh, two that we hear about in the news, unfortunately, uh, very often, and other wars uh, that we don't hear much about, uh, we need to ask for the Lord uh, to help us in focusing on the good news. Because if we uh, turn on the TV and look at the news, uh, there is not as many good news as we would like to have and that would be able to lift up our spirits. And so this is why we need to look at the cross and even beyond the cross uh, to where Jesus wants to lead us, which is in the resurrection. And so uh, one example 
um, about focusing on the positive uh, and most of you probably don't have your driver's license yet. I'm not talking about the people who are in front, I'm talking more about those who are in the back. So I hope you never have uh, to remember that. But uh, if you're close to an accident, if you focus on the thing that you're trying to avoid, there is a greater chance that you will hit what you're trying to avoid. And so apparently, uh, the trick is to look at where you want to go. And so this is a good example in our lives as well, when we feel that uh, we are pressured by all kinds of things, and uh, maybe even uh, thinking about your exam. So hopefully you'll study as much as you're supposed to, and then after that, try to focus on uh, the solutions, the, the positive. And uh, this is why I chose uh, the first reading that we had today. So this is from Philippians 4. This is one of my favorite uh, scripture passage, so passage from the Bible, uh, the Bible that we should uh, try to read every day, uh, even if it's a short uh, verse, uh, because this will help us uh, to focus on the positive and ultimately on God. And uh, right now we have uh, such a fast pace in our life and um, so many uh, phones. Uh, it's good that I don't see anyone uh, with their phones on right now, uh, and so uh, that's great. Uh, so that means that you're used to slow down, and maybe you were told by your teachers, and we're told by Jesus, who's the best teacher, to also slow down and to try uh, to focus on what we should focus on. And if you uh, follow uh, the example that I gave about trying to avoid something and looking at where we want to go, uh, you can imagine uh, a Formula One driver how fast this is and I think our life uh, in so many ways right now is way faster than it was uh, when we were on a horse uh, and so um, let us ask for the Lord to help us to be able to slow down and to try to focus on him and what we should focus on is what we heard what is just what is pure what is lovely what is gracious if there is any excellence and worthy of praise. And the result of trying to do that, and I have uh, to remind myself that it is easier to say than to do, but the result uh, will be what we uh, had at the conclusion of this reading. And so it ended like this, peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And so it is the peace that will guard our hearts and our minds. And this is the peace that only the Lord can give. And so maybe as a practical uh, way of trying to apply that, um, as I will uh, now be quiet, you can try to give thanks to God for two or three things that you should be grateful about. And uh, let us bring that to the Lord as we are continuing our Eucharist, and Eucharist means in Greek, giving thanks. And so this should be always a good thing. Many times uh, when we go to Mass, we have an intention that seems to be a lost cause or something impossible. Uh, but today, let us uh, rejoice in two or three things that we should be uh, thankful for that are gifts from the Lord. And if I were uh, your age, I think I would be uh, giving thanks to God for not being in a classroom, but for being uh, in Ottawa in this uh, marvelous cathedral. And hopefully this helps us uh, when we need to go back to the classroom to also give thanks to God for everything that he has. Amen.